last time on HTML Canvas, Radu showed you how to get the mouse coordinates and make an interactive application. He showed you how to listen for the mouse move event and how to use it in combination with the animate function. Now get ready, next lesson's about to start. Gonna code, debug and have fun. Coding with Radu, coding with Radu. Gonna prototype and design. Coding with Radu, coding with Radu. Let's code now. Let's begin with the same quick canvas setup, ID of my canvas. And uh, background, let's make it pink this time. The same width of 400, height of 400. And now we can begin to write JavaScript code inside of the script tag here. We access the context by saying my canvas, get context 2D. And now I want to teach you how to write text on the canvas. So there is this method called fill text that accepts here a parameter for the text that you want to write, like HTML canvas, like this, and then the X and Y coordinates. So let me put this at 200, so center X in the middle of the canvas, and uh, 300 on the Y. I want it to be a little bit below the middle of the page. So let's save this and refresh. And you can see now the pink canvas here and the text, it's not really in the middle, but it's definitely below halfway. So we need to style this text a little bit. And I'm gonna go here before the fill text and we will use different methods to style the text. Let's make it bigger and change the font. I don't like the current default settings and it's definitely too small. So I'm going to write here, font is equal to 30 pixels and Arial. It's a different font family. Save this, refresh the page, and now you can see that the text is clearly readable. But it's not in the center. Actually, it is in the center here, but uh, it starts in the center. And I would really like to align this text to be in the center horizontally and maybe vertically as well, because this uh, 200, 300 point is here, but our text is positioned like this. So to fix both of these things, I'm going to do here text baseline equal to middle. This is gonna fix the vertical problem and text align to center. This is going to fix the horizontal problem. So let's save this and refresh and now we can see the text exactly where we want it to be. Let me give this a different fill style as well. I'll make it red like this. And you can actually experiment with strokes as well. So there's another method called stroke text, but I'm not gonna show it to you this time. Instead, I'm gonna teach you how to add an image to the canvas, but we're gonna need an image to start with. So I'm gonna draw a simple one using PowerPoint. I will just delete this. I'm going to draw a heart symbol and PowerPoint actually has one here that you can use. I'm going to select it and I'm going to draw a heart while holding the shift key on the keyboard because then it's going to keep this nice aspect ratio and it doesn't get squished like this. So let's have the heart looking like this and I'm going to make it have a red fill and let's remove this outline. I don't need an outline for this shape. And now to save this as an image, I'm going to right click, save as picture, go in the same folder that you are working with your code and type here heart.png. We're going to make a PNG image out of this heart. So let's save this. And now you should see it in Visual Studio Code here like this. If you open it, you actually get to see it in here as well. Let me close this and now we can add this to the canvas by first defining an image in JavaScript. So we are going to write heart image is equal to new image 
and we're going to give the source of this heart image uh, we are going to set it equal to the PNG file name like this and now we could actually draw this image on the canvas by using this draw image method and the first argument here is going to be the x coordinate the second is going to be the y coordinate and then the third is going to be the width of this image and the fourth is going to be the height of this image like this but now if we save this file and refresh the page nothing happens we don't see the image right here and that's because it takes a little bit of time for it to load first and we need to handle this by writing here heart image on load is equal to a new function and this function is going to be called when the image has finished loading so at that point we are safe to add here this code and draw it on the canvas i'm going to refresh this and now the image appears there as we want these coordinates here are something I experimented with earlier, so I just knew what to add there. But with your drawing, you may need to play around a bit to make it look nice. Now, how about animating these things? Let's try it out. I'm going to write here, animate, and define a function for animating everything. And as usual, we want to clear the rectangle clear the whole canvas before we want to redraw everything and then we are going to draw something followed by request animation frame with animate as a parameter there like that so now what you want to draw on each frame is essentially everything here like all this here is going to happen inside here like this but we don't really need this on load anymore and i will explain to you why but uh, first let me align this text a little bit better and refresh the page so now everything is animating it's just standing still and nothing is moving but everything still still works and the image still appears there and that's because even if the image is not loading on the first frame it will eventually on the second or the third frame so if you actually refresh this many many times you may see this image blinking sometimes because the first frame of this animation doesn't have it there but the javascript doesn't throw any errors like this and i think it's okay to code in this way if you do make something really really serious like maybe a, a full game then do add a preloading stage where you load all the images first and then start showing the interface a loading bar would also be nice okay but uh, this is not animating even though it is redrawing on every frame so let's do that next i'm going to go up here and say a maximum value for the y of this heart let's give it the value of 100 and a range moving on y this time we've moved on x so much it's time to move it on y as well so let's have a p is equal to zero like this and inside of the animate function we just write here an increase in p i'm using the same values but you can experiment of course and then if p is greater than one i'm just going to make it jump to zero like this and to get the actual value of the y of this heart that we are going to move around i'm going to write here a more complicated function that i figured out using that website i showed you earlier and with this i'm going to put it here as the y coordinate of the heart and i will save this file refresh the page and you can see the heart jumping like this up and down it overlaps the text a little bit let's give it a smaller maximum y value like this and also decrease the range like so so this maximum y value of 90 really means 
this distance right here. It's where the top of the heart is at its lowest point and the range where it's going, it's all the way to the top. So 90 pixels right here. And then we're drawing the heart afterwards. Play around with this function and use that website and try to find out other ways to make this more interesting. See you guys.